let's get into this first episode of The Mandalorian. I watched it this morning as soon as I could. Um, and, uh, you know, this is the interesting thing about franchise filmmaking in 2019. And Disney is at the forefront of this. They've been doing it with Marvel for over 10 years now, and they're just starting to do it with Star Wars. There's this idea that within franchise filmmaking, you can Trojan horse other types of stories and genres under the banner of something familiar, right? And that is, I guess, the only plausible way to make interesting artistic stuff within mainstream entertainment because people only see Marvel movies and only see Star Wars movies. So if you want to sell your psychedelic sci-fi picture, you have to do it under the Doctor Strange label. If you're going to sell your uh, Soviet spy thriller, you have to do it under Captain America. If you're going to sell your quirky heist movie, it's got to be called Ant-Man. And uh, that that's sort of this new theory of franchise filmmaking. Under this cinematic universe, a plethora of interesting stories can be told in different ways. And so now Disney is doing the same thing with Star Wars. And to a certain extent, that was the attempt of the spinoff films. Rogue One, Solo, they kind of feel like their own thing. But The Mandalorian is the first real attempt at a gritty genre story in the Star Wars universe, right? Here's my problem with this line of thinking and why I find the Trojan horse philosophy to be total bullshit, Um, (laughs) to put it frankly. Star Wars is the genre. Marvel is the genre. They are so popular, so adored, so familiar And so tonally specific that if a new Marvel film like, say, the Doctor Strange sequel or Black Panther or Captain Marvel were to challenge those preconceptions too much and attempt to be truly a separate and unique genre exercise, the audience gets turned off. Star Wars is so iconic, so larger than life so specific to a certain certain segment of filmgoer that you can't truly make a unique genre movie under the Star Wars label. These are still corporate entities, right? Like, I know you would love to make a Star Wars Western. You would love, 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 love to make a Marvel horror movie. But that in and of itself is kind of a contradiction, right? That's sort of an oxymoron. Because Marvel doesn't do horror. If you make a horror movie, you're no longer making a Marvel movie. And that is the genre Disney feels most obliged to. And so I'm watching the first episode of The Mandalorian. And like, there are elements of Star Wars in it. Uh, I will not spoil the ending of the first episode, but there is a clear allusion to uh, the main uh, Star Wars series, and I'm sure there will be ties to one specific character. And of course, there's a bounty hunter that looks exactly like Boba Fett, and there are allusions to the Empire because this uh, series takes place after the events of Episode Six: Return of the Jedi. So all that stuff is in there, and of course it has to be in there. But I'm sitting there and I'm thinking to myself, man, I just want this to be Breaking Bad. You know what I mean? Like, I am way interested in the dark underbelly of the Star Wars universe. I am super interested in Werner Herzog's crime boss. I am super interested in this interconnected network of bounty hunters. Like, this shit is really cool, but I want you to go all the way with it. And that first episode of The Mandalorian, uh, it kind of just felt like darkly lit Star Wars. It just felt like another Star Wars story without the charm of the main films, without the larger than life sensation that you get watching The Last Jedi, you know, without the the blaring score and the incredible effects and the fight sequences and this feeling of hope and wonder. I mean, there were no lightsabers in this episode, you know, there was no Death Star in this episode. And, like, that's fine. You don't have to make that show. 
but it just felt like you know it had one foot in the Star Wars universe and one foot in the PG-13 HBO crime universe and I just want them to pick a side you know and again this is the problem with telling interesting genre stories in mainstream entertainment the first obligation is always to the mainstream aspect of it it's always to the bottom line it is always to the intellectual property 